All right, let's start talking about the forecast time right now. 618 as we look outside out there, it's been pretty sunny for most of the day, but those clouds have really started to filter in. You can see that in the Greenville sky cam. Same with Spartanburg getting kind of overcast out there. Temperature still warm though, sitting at 78 and 77 in Greenville and Spartanburg respectively. 79 over in Anderson, a little bit cooler up in the mountains with a mix of clouds and sunshine up towards Asheville right now. We made it up to 80 degrees today in Greenville, Anderson, Hartwell, all these places out here in the upstate. Pretty warm this afternoon and still pretty warm up in the mountains as well. This is mostly where our highs have been the past few days and they're going to get even warmer heading into next week. The average high is 77. We'll be pushing 5 to 10 degrees above that average uh, over the next few days as the rain chances unfortunately go up as well. Satellite radar showing you right now where the fair weather cumulus clouds are, but we've got a deck of higher level clouds coming in from the northwest. It'll stay just cloudy, I think, for the rest of the night tonight. We already have some wet weather, though, down to the southwest across parts of Alabama and southern Georgia. You can see how it's kind of lifting up to the northeast. We're in the warm sector of this, this really big storm system that's impacting the Midwest right now. You've got a lot of cold air mixing with a lot of warm air right where the jet stream is with this upper level trough. Thankfully, the cold air is staying way off to the north, uh, but we will get some storms fueled from that warmer air that's going to be coming in out of the south out out ahead of this upper level trough, which is already lifting up to the north. So as those winds stay out of the south tonight, that means increasing clouds and maybe just a small chance for rain. Vast majority of us, though, staying dry overnight tonight. Here's midnight. A few showers being pinpointed by that future radar. Then tomorrow morning, the rain coverage will start to increase pretty early up in the mountains. We'll start at 7 a.m. with still dry conditions in northeast Georgia and the upstate, but some isolated showers starting to show up, uh, especially later in the morning across parts of our area. And then into the afternoon hours, that's when the rain coverage definitely picks up. We'll see some isolated thunderstorms in the mix here with some of those uh, scattered showers. When it's not raining, it'll still be pretty warm and muggy. Those highs will get up into the low 80s tomorrow. Here's 430, pretty good rain coverage, and again, some storms mixed in with that. The rain coverage diminishes a little bit after sunset tomorrow evening with a few showers just possible at 8 p.m. Then we dry out heading into Monday. Now the big thing Monday is even after those storms, we're actually going to get warmer as opposed to cooler like we normally do with a lot of these storm systems. 86, 87 is what we'll be pushing for those high temperatures heading into Monday afternoon. The rainfall potential doesn't look all that high. We'll pick up half an inch to one inch at best in most of these areas that do pick up rain. But again, those rain chances will be uh, pretty high tomorrow and with us for the next few days. Here's a look at the next four days. Those highs stay in the 80s for the foreseeable future until we get to next Saturday with a high of 78. Those rain chances will ebb and flow by day, so Monday will be pretty dry, but It'll be back and forth between 30 and 40% Tuesday through Thursday. Then more scattered storms are on the way Friday and Saturday going into next weekend. 